up, everybody? Welcome back to Old Folks TV. Look what we got. We got a new car in the garage. I'm sure some of you have probably seen it uh, on our social media pages because I've just been going crazy with it. Uh, we got a Gia. I bought this actually for my wife for her birthday, and she just absolutely loves it, I'm sure. <laughs> but it really, you know, it's, it's something fun for me to play with. I haven't had a Gia in a very long time. Um, and this was actually Sean's old Gia. You know, Sean. Yeah, that guy. This was his Gia uh, for a little while, and so it's part of the Pellegrini collection. Uh, but it went out to a private, uh, another private collector, and they drove it around for about a year. And then finally, I was able to get my hands on it. Um, I've been chasing after this car for a few years, so super excited to have it. Uh, there's a few upgrades that we're going to do to it. Um, some stuff I just couldn't wait, so I went ahead and did. We threw a vintage speed shifter in there. I got some fog lights on the front. I had to fabricate a bracket. Uh, threw a coat of wax on there, you know, tuned it up. Uh, but one thing that I can't stand on this car and any of my cars is the sealed beam headlights. I cannot stand them. I absolutely hate them. Uh, so today, and I've been getting a lot of requests for simple things you can do to upgrade your car. Uh, one of these is going to be this. We're going to change these headlights uh, for an H4 style modern bulb headlight. Uh, I'm going to use these common ones that I normally use uh, that are very inexpensive. They're from AutoPal. Uh, I believe I got them on Amazon. Uh, I'll throw a link down below when I can find it. Super easy, uh, very inexpensive to do, and a lot cheaper and a lot easier to change the bulbs uh, next time if they ever go out. Plus, there's a million upgrades you can do beyond this. Um, the gray bug over here, the 62, we are going to be doing this to that car soon as well, uh, but with some crazy, crazy upgrades. Um, I'm waiting on a few parts to come in from some of our friends, uh, but they should be here soon. So we'll go over rebuilding bug headlight buckets in a different video. Uh, but today, the Gia, it's very easy, and I'm going to show you how, and we're going to do it right now. There we have it. The Carmen Ghia headlight. Um, very easy to take apart. Uh, looks a little scary at first, but it's not. Uh, so you just take this little, this one screw out of the bottom, and it's not that easy. <laughs> this is just the, the little trim ring. It comes off. Don't smash it, they're very fragile. You're gonna see three little flathead screws. Uh, this is how you aim the headlight. This is how you adjust it, and, and we'll get to that later. Um, and then you'll have one screw just here. Make sure that you keep a finger or a hand on there so that it doesn't fall out. And this whole assembly comes out right on the top. Right here is this little hook. So that hooks into this frame or this I guess this is the the assembly um, so that'll kind of hold it but I don't always trust those sometimes they jump off so then you've got this plug on the back gently you're gonna wiggle just like that okay now the headlight assembly is loose we can take it to the table and uh, I can show you how to put it all back together and then we'll reassemble it on the car and then we'll be done so let's jump inside where the table is and we'll uh, take it apart. All right, here is our handy dandy AutoPal H4 housing. <laughs> uh, it's, it's pretty simple. It's just like that sealed beam one, except that you can actually take the bulb out like that. So you can replace this as a modern H4 style you know, replaceable bulb, and then this just stays in the car so you don't have to do this every time the headlight goes out. Just pop the bulb, put it right back in there. Um, this one's, I think, 100 watts high, low, and it's a hyper white, that's why it's purple. Um, just let you see a little bit better. Don't touch the glass. You can't get them oily because they will explode when you turn them on. And uh, basically that little hook catches that little wire, just like that, and it's in. This is a city light. Uh, we're not gonna use that today. Just an extra little bulb you can put with your parking lights. Uh, but I don't ever use them, so I just cut the wires off and tuck them in there. But that's it, that's gonna replace this little guy. Uh, so all we gotta do is pull these clips off and 
can just unhatch from the, there's a little tab here that goes into that little slot. And we've got three of those. Just a little springy clip. Oh. sure that you have this oriented the correct way uh, when you go to install it. Uh, the little tabs are only going to line up one way, but also the top has to be up. So you have this little hole in the top here. And in our housing, our new one, we've got a little arrow. That's the top. That's because of the flutes. Uh, they need to point the correct direction. The light's going to go weird if you don't. So basically we just get that little guy out, put that little new guy in, align the bump with the, the notch. Sometimes you gotta put in a couple to get them, get some tension on them. little feet on that they just kind of sit on the either side of that little bump push that in there and, and we're good so up make sure our little arrow points at the little hole in the top and then the adjuster screws you know we're not going to touch them yet because I don't know if it's out of adjustment or not it might still be okay but we can do that once we get it back on the car uh, and that's pretty much it. The bulb is in, so let's go ahead back out to the car and install it and check it out. Back at the car. Um, you know, we're looking at the headlight bucket here. You've got your wiring. Again, you've got your three prong connector. And, uh, you know, your ground wire back here comes off of one of those here. Uh, these are the two holes that you would use for. Uh, mounting this one holds the assembly in and this one holds that trim ring on um, If you had a bunch of rust in here, you probably want to clean it up and hit it with a little primer and some spray paint Just to alleviate that you want to check your seal also. Uh, this one's in okay shape I don't have a new one anyways, but it's still pretty soft. And it seems like it's Doing okay. We just have to make sure we get that tucked in and we tighten it down uh, So all you do city light our little friend here goes at the bottom um, and the little arrow that is really hard to see but I promise you it's there that goes at the top and this little hole this is where the the little hook is right there so you know kind of an important step plug in your plug and then uh, set that in there on its little perch make sure that you're straight up and down We put our screw in. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you gotta cheat. That's a hard one to find. So I'll stick it in all the way. And then kind of find the hole. Oop. It should line up, but it's old. So it doesn't always. There we go. I'll just give that a couple just so it stays in place and then get my light where it goes there tuck in my seal you don't have to go crazy tight on these either it's in there pretty good um, before we put that on that trim ring um, it's so cold inside and it's so humid out here <laughs> everything's fogged up uh, I'll show you how to adjust. So these three screws each change one direction of the light. So if you turn this one in, it's 
hard to see, but that's bringing this corner out. And then if you come out, it's bringing that corner in a little bit. You know, so you can kind of line this up. Once we get both of them in there, I'm gonna do the other side too, obviously. Once we get both headlights in there, um, generally what you do is at night, you'll pull up to your garage door and turn these on and give yourself about 10 to 15 feet back, maybe 20 feet back. And then you just turn these until the lines are even, you know, get both going until they're both perfectly even and then you're good. So we're just going to pretend like we did that already because I know that they're pretty well adjusted. And then your trim ring will snap on and it should line up with that little hole for this little guy. Again, not too tight. You don't have to go super tight. And then you give her a wipe and that's it. Let's uh, back this camera up and I'll show you what the difference between the two looks like and you can be amazed. If you see that, this one's a little brighter. Uh, actually, it's kind of hard to see, but this one's a little bit brighter. It's a little more kind of purpley white. This one's got that sort of dull orange color. Um, so this one, it throws a bigger beam. It's a brighter beam. It's much better for driving at night. We got a lot of empty places out here with no lights. So this will be, you know, nice to have. Plus they look kind of cool. They got that flat fluted face on them. Let's check the high beams. work low beams work we're in good shape so I'm gonna jump in I'll go ahead and do the other one and then uh, we will sign out All right, there we got it. Headlights. That was not hard at all. You can totally do this. It's super easy. I used a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver basically, but I just used my impact because I'm super lazy. Uh, but you can do it with just a couple screwdrivers. It takes no time at all. I think that one took 28 seconds, but in real time, that was probably about five minutes. Um, in the rain, no less, with thunder and lightning all around, I still got it done, no problem. So. You can totally do it. Uh, links will be down below for the headlights. Um, I'll throw some bulbs in there just in case. Maybe you already got them. You just want to change the bulb out. Um, I can show you where those are on uh, Amazon or eBay or wherever. Throw a couple links for those. And then, uh, you know, the seal. I'll throw the link for the seal on there just in case. Uh, I didn't use them, but maybe you need them. I don't know. But that's it. So. That was a, a quick, easy one. Everybody's been asking for quick, easy ones. Now you got a quick, easy one right there. So check us out at Teespring. Get some shirts. Uh, check us out at all the shows that we're going to. Uh, we're going to be at the rollout. Uh, not this weekend, but the following weekend from this video, which is uh, mid-August. I guess it's August. Uh, it's Labor Day weekend. So. Every year, Labor Day weekend in San Antonio, the rollout. We're going to be doing a live stream um, from that show a couple different times. If you're at the show, come see us, say hello, you know, grab a sticker. Um, we might have some other fun stuff to give away. I've probably got some magazines laying around we can we can toss out. Uh, but just say hello. Maybe you'll be on the on the video on the stream. We're going to talk to some people that are there at the show that have their cars there. Um, if we can track down Alfred or one of the gang uh, that's putting it together, we'll talk to those guys too. Uh, so do that. 
And check out all our friends, the VW Network. Man, that thing is going crazy right now. Vic Whitehouse, they just did a huge festival for VWRadio.com. Um, they were doing some live streaming. They were interviewing some people. Um, they're doing some good stuff over there. Of course, Volks America Magazine, Volks Mania Magazine. Check those out. Uh, good old Mike Podcast. That guy's been putting out super great content lately. Um, and he does music, too. And he's a fantastic musician. Uh, very interesting guy. Wrote a book that you can buy. Everything. It's... That guy, you gotta listen to his podcast, him and Joe, they do fantastic work. And, uh, oh yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>